Welcome back. It is your boy Trillis T. And today I did my calculations. Currently I'm on my 18th day of walking the Camino. Camino de Santiago. It uh it it's it it's a it's a beautiful day. Look at that. Beautiful day from my room side view right there. I have been having ankle problems almost to the point where like I'm I'm deciding if I should stop early or not. I know I haven't been trying to make it that big of an ordeal, but it's 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 been killer. It's been hurting, it's been swollen. So I have a med kit. I bought this for maybe about five bucks. And inside it had some tape. So I just wrapped my leg for the first time. Hopefully this this really does its job. It, it's supposed to like keep it from moving so much in directions like super forward, super back, like extensions really, super extending. And then it's also supposed to keep swelling down, so hopefully it does that's job and uh, lets me walk a little bit. Like I said, if it gets worse, I'm giving it probably a good week left, and uh, I'll have to make the judgment call there. But right now, I'm going to continue. I don't see why not. At this point, I can still walk, and I can still walk like 10 miles, 12 miles a day, so let's get it, really. place I stayed last night, if you're in Hihon, do not go to this place. Unless it's unless you have to, it's 15 euros and uh, there's only like two places to stay. Three. There's a camping ground, a homeless shelter, and this place. And uh, this place, it, it was a lot. I paid 15 for no Wi-Fi and essentially just an empty room with a bed for myself. I'm not into that. I wasn't digging it. I felt like I got ripped off. But now you know, do not stay at that place. This is a beautiful stadium. I'm thoroughly impressed right now. For a, a smaller place like Hion. Hihon. It's actually not too small, but it's it's not like London, but this is a soccer stadium that's pretty big. It's not Arsenal soccer stadium big, but it's a it's like an ugly step down brother version of it. I uh, I have one of these moments today. I will first start. There's two parts of the story that I'm about to tell you. First part is a tip that everyone should know, and that is that in the beginning of each and every day, I've been realizing that my spirits are higher. It's like all I need is some rest, and rest not only gives me energy for the day, but it brings my spirits up because I, I feel good. I'm cracking jokes, I'm laughing. And like last night, I was just tired and I was done with everything. So that's the first tip. Getting sleep can change, can, can literally do miracles. Now, my second thing I was going to talk about is North Dakota. And uh, how right now I miss my family, kind of. I, I, I do miss my family. I miss my family and friends. I miss the weather for this era, this time. And uh, I just miss certain things about my hometown. But it's also a very big, um, uh, I don't know what the word I'd be looking for, but it's like a catch 22 because I go back there and I, I notice those things, you know, I get I get to see my family, my friends, I get to do all the things that I'm missing right now. And then and then I, I don't like it. It becomes like a demon again. Like the 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 evil that I'm trying to escape from my hometown somehow ends up consuming me and then I don't have fun and I, I hate life and I become depressed. And I don't I'm I'm I I'm thinking to myself Maybe it's not that my hometown is full of demons, but rather me in my mindset is full of demons. Because in breaking this down even further, maybe it's the way I view my hometown and rather less about the people and more about how I view it in my outlook. So what I would need to do is I would need to change that to at least survive another summer or winter there but it's hard man it's really hard because i get so 
I see people's faces when I tell them my ideas like, oh yeah, I want to be an artist or I want to uh, be a translator and they're like, <laughs> God, fucking hippie, join the power plant, join the, join the rigs. And it, <laughs> well now, it's just because energy is so popular in North Dakota and there's so many conservative people that when they see my ideas, they, they, they don't understand anything outside of North Dakota and uh, obviously traveling and not even just traveling, the mindset that I was gifted with from birth has brought me to where I am at today. And uh, it's not that I need to change that mindset, it's that I need to understand that those people won't change it. I shouldn't be fretting them. I shouldn't be scared because at the end of the day, this mindset is here to stay and it's Tyler Reitz. It's what makes me who I am. Of course, yeah, I need to get out in North Dakota, but it's, <laughs> it, I, I think with this new adaption to a mindset that I could survive there a little bit longer and save some more cash for the next trip and I don't know, make that one permanent maybe. <sighs> it's my questions right there, man. Hola. I had to do it to you guys again. I am at the Hihon Beach and this is beautiful. Probably the, one of the most beautiful beaches I've seen so far. Coastlines. Look at that. Already people hitting the waves. That sand is like a nice, almost orange look to it, with the waves being a navy blue. Really cool contrast. Very amazing. Beautiful. Jesus freaking Christ, mate. Look at this. This is a bar, and it is 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning. People are pouring out and majority of them are just completely obliterated drunk. Stumbling, dropping cups out of their hands, bumping into things, like nearly falling down, staring at their phones laughing. Like, bro, it's a freaking Sunday at nine in the morning. What the frick are you doing with your life? Wine bottles. Man, maybe it's because I'm, I'm listening to it right now, or maybe it's because my overactive imagination. But when I see buildings like this, I get pretty freaking nervous. Because you don't know what kind of people are living in them. Or if there is any. Because like they're so abandoned, and what I'm getting at, it, it's, it's, it's definitely... What I'm thinking is it's, it's definitely scary. Because that's abandoned AF. And there could be easily be somebody in there who's willing to do something bad. Because it drugs because of like personal mindset. I'm not sure, but I'm walking this. And I heard yesterday from these guys, they're like, well, a lot of people, they just take a, a train to the next area uh, a few kilometers out because it's so industrial what I'm currently walking through and it's not beautiful. I think those buildings have their own beauty to them. I would never say that this place isn't beautiful, this walk isn't beautiful. But they also have their very uh, creepy, creepy behavior that only time can bring to a building. Monterey bit. That's where I'm heading to. Though it feels eerie walking through giant forests, I I feel almost welcome back. I enjoy walking out here with nature more than I do in the city. In a city I feel very vulnerable and scared more than I do walking through a woods. But that's also not to say during nighttime it's the same story. It's actually completely opposite. I get extremely terrified when it comes to uh, 
even close to like six and I'm still walking through woods. Because I know in like three hours, on a good day, the sun's gonna go down. But it, it feels good to be back. After being in Gijon and walking around for so long, it feels fresh. The air feels fresh. The isolation in itself feels like a warm motherly hug that's grasping me by the waist. It, it, it feels so nice. And it, I don't know, man. I, I, I definitely am a man of isolation. I love my isolation, but I also love being with other people too. I love sharing moments. But I mean, this journey for me so far, this countryside so far has been so delightful. Northern Spain countryside. And maybe it's, it, maybe it's the time, early spring, late spring now, almost summertime. I think that has something to do with it. Everything's growing, everything's fresh. So even though I am isolated in my own mind, I'm not isolated by the fresh growth that surrounds me. Craziest albergue slash hostel I've been in. Look at that. More like albergue. It was six euros to get a spot here. So, like, six euros, that's amazing. So, super hyped. Jeez, it feels so good. It did work today. Save me some hurt. I'm gonna do it tomorrow.